So nowadays, wirelessly charging your phone seems to be getting bigger, bigger, and bigger, especially when it comes to the iPhone 12 and 13 series that do have a technology called MagSafe or MagLoop, I believe it is. What that essentially is, is a magnet fitted to the back side of the phone, a circular magnet, which allows you to connect it to a device via, instead of using a traditional charging port, and it will fast charge your device, which is a great bit of technology, but you know, there is that many bits of tech now on the market, nobody knows which one to go for. You could stick with the original iPhone one if you want to spend a pretty penny, but then all the aftermarket ones are pretty much generic, and some of them as low as like say 200 to 500 milliamp hour batteries, which isn't that great. That was until a company emailed me regarding something called the Super Mini Go. Now this one I was happy about, plus it's a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. So let's just get into it. So guys, this is what we're looking at. This is the Super Mini Go, and of course this is what we're looking at. So this is a 10,000 milliamp wireless charger and this is meant for the likes of the iPhone 12 and 13 series because it's obviously got the technology of MagLoop. So you can actually connect this directly to the back of a phone. But it also does come with a cable so you can also use it as an average power bank as well. So that's one thing we're going to be looking into. So we'll have a look at the product, we'll get it connected up to the phone. I'll pretty much show you how it works and we'll pretty much go from there. So let's get this unboxed. So this does come in a variant of colours, the colour that we went for was the black colour because it's just a pretty generic colour, shows you everything that's going for it. So this is the one thing I'm looking at, um, this is the main thing I was looking at. So inside the box we do get a little strap cable going on here, so a little handy dandy wrist strap there, is a little bit elastic so obviously if you wanted to keep this on your wrist you can do. And then we also obviously the carry box itself and then we also have the bank, the bank itself as well. So as we can see, it's pretty much designed around the looks to look like basically a small mirrorless camera. We do have the actual magnets here themselves, which do stick onto the back of the phone, which we're going to go into a little bit later. But as we can see, it is kind of in the shape of a small little mirrorless camera. We have the logo going on here. We do have black as well as some like bronze gold going on just to give it a little bit more color, which I do like. So... Yes, it is all black design, but as you can see, there is little dots all over it. It's kind of giving it that little bit of a wet look, just to give it a little bit more uh, colour and preservation. I do actually quite like it. On the top here, we do have what looks like a camera button, but this is the on-off switch, just to basically turn it on. As well as we do have a little loop here for the little handy-dandy wrist strap, or you do have one there, depending on which one you want to use. On the back here, we do have a little mirrored portion here, so if I actually turn this on, you can just see through roughly there, so it's telling you the logo, it's telling you the percentage, which has currently got 79% left. Just remember, this is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery, so it uh, holds quite a large amount of charge. But that is pretty much just indicating that it's on, then you just click it once more. And that's just pretty much going to tell you how much battery you've got left, so you can keep an eye on this as well, making sure it's uh, validly charged. Now, on the right-hand side, we do have a few things. We do have a Zen Plus 2.0 USB, as well as a USB Type-C input going on here as well. You don't exactly have to use this with uh, an iPhone 12 or 13 series that does have MagLoop capability, which I'm going to go through just now. So here I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max, I think I believe it is. So it's obviously the newest iPhone out at the moment. And what I've got here is the case I'm actually currently running on does have MagLoop entailed. So what we're going to do is quickly just grab this, connect it to the back of the phone, and there we go, we are done and dusted. Then if I click the on-off button, you can see there that little indication in the top right-hand corner just basically meaning that it's charging. So what I'll do is if I take the case off, just in case obviously people try to say it is the case. So here we have it, we have the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Behind this is actually a circle, like it's basically a circle magnet. I don't want to go into the details, but the circle magnet with a little portion here. And what this allows us to do is connect this to the back of the phone like that. And then there we go. As we can see, it is charging. So it's taking the charge from the mag loop and it's actually charging the phone. Now, I believe this is only available in the 12, iPhone 12 and iPhone 13 series. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if any of the other iPhones do come with this. But like I said, the, this series do. But in the end of the day, if you don't have the availability to do this, you can actually use it via the USB, um, the USB port, the USB Type C port, because obviously USB Type so, uh, Type C port is also utilised for charging. Also, so that's just one thing to keep in handy. But I have to admit, relatively a really cool device. Now I know there are so many of these out there. You know, companies are bringing these out left, right, and centre. 
trying to make charging on the go a lot easier. <clears throat> which is good because obviously people tend to use phones nowadays literally every second of every day. But I'm always been a fan of something that doesn't look plain. I, I like something that's a little bit exciting. So for this one to look kind of like a little camera, it is quite cool. It's quite one of those pieces where it's also a conversation piece. So you can simply just on the go, grab your charger, pop it on the back, and you were pretty much good to go. And there we go, it's charging. So it is charging device. So this is a 15 watt charger as well. So it's not gonna charge your phone to the point of a, like, you know, a 30, 40, 50 watt charger like you can buy. Um, it's not gonna charge it within seconds. Obviously that's pretty much self-explanatory, but due to the fact that it is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery and it does run at around 15 watts, it is gonna charge your phone relatively quite quickly. And it's one of those things you don't really need to worry about it. You know, you can sit your phone up. If you wanna watch some videos, you can have it like that. And it's gonna continuously charge your phone. Or even if you're just sat at a desk and you're doing a little bit of work and you don't want cables involved, all you have to do is click that onto that, move it to one side, your phone is charging and you're pretty much good to go. So I think that's one of the main reasons why I really do enjoy this. Now, I enjoy this product for so, so many reasons. One, the matter of fact that I can just grab my iPhone and I can pretty much just put this onto the back, click a button, and I'm pretty much charging my phone. I'm pretty much charging my phone, and that just sits at the back. But there is a lot of other things. I love the fact that it looks like a little mini camera. So it looks like a little mini mirror, uh, mirrorless camera. You've got all black design, you've got the copper chrome at the top, which I really do like. And if this were a camera, where the shutter button would be to take photos and videos, that's the on-off switch. So they really have put a ton of effort into this. The back of it looks like a little mini camera. You do have the bronze gold display here that will show you the whether it's charging, whether it's not charging, and also the percentage left of the massive 10,000 milliamp hour battery. Now, it doesn't really get any better than that. It is charged by an input, Obviously, it is charged by using the micro. It is charged by using the Type C connector on the side, but you also do have a Zen 2.0 USB as well. So even if you don't have an iPhone 12, you can use this to charge other devices, whether that be your phone or your tablet or even your camera. Like I said, 10,000 milliamp hour battery is going to last you a very long time, so it's going to do you justice. And I definitely have to say, if you are a traveler, this is going to be your next best friend. So I have to admit, an absolutely incredible product, and I was more than happy to review it. So if you do want to go check one of these out for yourself, go down the video description below. There'll be a link there so you can go grab one for yourself. Uh, and as always, if you do get one, you have any issues, please let me know down in the comment section below. But if this video did help you in any way, shape or form, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And as always, I hope you have a great charging day.